First order of the day, $8, going eight miles. It said it's gonna take us 30 minutes from the door to Brooklyn. No, we're not going to Brooklyn right now, man. Definitely not. Mm-mm, Uber Eats, no. $8, eight miles. Wow, to drive to Brooklyn right now, you gotta pay me about 15 bucks. Then I'll go. So guys, this is one of those short shifts. It's Thursday the 30th of March and we have about an hour and a half to make $30. Let's try to make $30 today. Yesterday I had a goal about $25. I thought I fell short, but when I went back and I checked the payout, one of the orders went up and we actually made $26 plus. So that's a win. So guys, I'm trying to pay off my credit card debts or whatever debt I have right now using gig apps only. I've been using DoDash for over a year, Uber Eats for over a year, and Grubhub for about six to eight months. I just signed up for Rody last week and I asked myself, how many more gig apps do I need to make this money to pay off my credit cards? How many does one really need? Well, in my opinion, I think you need as many as you can. It's very good to diversify. You know, let's say to diversify your income. Well, that's me diversifying my income by signing up for more and more apps. Well guys, today I actually signed up for Point Pickup and I got in. I did sign up for Instacart, but they have me on a wait list in New York City. And I also signed up to be a ship shopper, but they also have me on a wait list. I really wanted to get on those two apps, but I guess I'll have to play the waiting game. All right, we got an order coming in, $2.50 from Burger King, going 2.9 miles. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna decline that. But the big question is how realistic it is to pay off your debt using gig apps only. And my answer, very, very realistic. With DoorDash, once you have the time to get on, you can make a lot of money. And the same for Uber Eats. In terms of Grubhub, you can make money, but you have to make yourself available and you have to take the offers that they send you. But you're always tempted to go back to Uber Eats and DoorDash because sometimes Grubhub is a bit limited. As I said earlier, I signed up for Rody, but Rody is a bit weird because it does not have a lot of opportunities available. If you go more towards the city, Manhattan, Long Island City area, Brooklyn, there's a lot of opportunities at Home Depots, Mercado, you know, script deliveries and a few other miscellaneous places. But it's nowhere close to the volume of Uber Eats, Grubhub and DoorDash. And maybe you could throw Shipped and Spark and even an Instacart in there, but you know, Rody is a bit dead. A new order, $2.50, 2.2 miles. No. So guys, after signing up for Point Pickup, I realized it's similar to Rody because the offers are very, very limited. Very limited in the New York City area. Very. All right, we got an offer 481, the Islands, Jamaican restaurant, and 3.6 miles. No, we're not gonna take that. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna decline that one as well. Two dollar tip, but the offer is not good enough. Guys, it's 116, we're heading towards the mall to see if we get something decent enough that's worth our time. Another 250 offer, guys. I don't know what's going on with Uber Eats these days, man. It seems like before it starts sending me decent offers, it just shower me with a ton load of 250s. We got a trip radar. It's gonna take an hour, 11.1 miles. Damn. Wow. But yeah, guys, I think it's very important to diversify your apps and not stay loyal to one single app or two or three apps because what if you get deactivated from one or two of those apps, then you're left dry. But if you have those other apps to work with, then you'll put yourself in the prime position and location to get the orders from Rody or from Point Pickup or Instacart or Shipped, whatever app you're using to make your money. But guys, you're currently on the $3,000 Capital One Challenge where I'm gonna pay off my two Capital One credit cards using gig work only is it possible yes it is i've already paid four hundred dollars towards the cards and at the end of the week four hundred dollars more would go towards getting that credit card debt decimated so guys we got an offer coming in for twelve dollars and thirty cents for two deliveries going 9.5 miles 45 minutes but that's going down to island park and i'm not going to island park right about now man that's too far away i gotta be back for three to get my son off the bus so i can't go that far i'm limited right now and i don't even think i would have went to island park today not for freaking 12 dollars 
for two drop-offs. Not at all. That's charity work. $6.10 JoJo's Juice Bar, 5.7 miles. Nah, we're not gonna do that either. So we at the mall right about now. Maybe we'll get a Target shop and pay a few items, pay $15, that'll be nice. But right now, we're just getting a lot of crap, man. Trip Radar wanna play, $17, eight miles. Ah, somebody took it. Three drop-offs. It was said it was gonna take 56 minutes. I would have actually taken, nah, I can't take that. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, that, that wasn't bad. But I think we could make more than $17 in 56 minutes though. That's basically $17 an hour. That's not a good one. That's definitely not a good one. Another $2.56 from Panera Bread. And that one is going 2.2 miles. As Don Penn says, no, no, no. You don't love me and I know now. So guys, we just pulled into the mall parking lot and we're gonna wait and see if we get something good. $10, 33 minutes, Gray's Smokehouse Cedarhurst going to Far Rockaway. We're not doing that. I got a roadie notification, two of them. Let me see where this offer is at. All right, could we do this roadie? Three miles. $12 Home Depot, um, large gig, nah, should fit in the back seat of a car, 210 total weight, 35 pounds, 16 inches, the biggest dimension, I could do that, but it's only $12, it's too many miles, we got an Uber Eats, 39 um, minutes, 5.1 miles, 3 drop-offs, Bagel Boss, or Bagel Bros, nah, we're not doing that. Three drop-offs, nah, 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 not for $10, man. Not for $10, so. A lot of crappy offers today, man, seriously. We're out here struggling, big time. So guys, we did, went ahead and submitted a bid for a roadie gig, two deliveries, medication, script drop, 1487 going one mile. It said it's gonna take 23 minutes. Pickup is at 2 p.m., it's currently 124, and uh, that's not bad at all. That is definitely not bad. So I don't mind if I get matched to that one. I could actually do a Uber Eats quickly, head to that and do the roadie just for experimental purposes. The more roadies I do is the better. I don't think it's gonna go up from 14, but you know, I just wanna do as many as possible, man. Seriously, I really do. Doesn't make sense I have the app in my phone and not trying to do the gigs you see what i mean so it's still pending when you submit a bid for roadie it takes up to 15 minutes for them to either accept or decline or give it to someone else so we're gonna find out we're definitely gonna find out and we get in a two dollars and 88 cents uber eats coming in this is horrible man what's going on with uber eats today let's turn on grubhub man i didn't turn on grubhub let's turn on grubhub it's really you know chaotic right now i've got nothing in about 15 minutes since i've been on nothing good i've got offers let me stop lying. Let me stop lying. I, let me stop lying. I got offers. But were they good? No, they weren't. So we're going to turn on Grubhub to see if we get something on Grubhub. Paying off your credit card that takes a lot of discipline, a lot of patience, a lot of determination, and a lot of freaking self-control because you're saying in your mind, I could... I could go out and buy a laptop with all this money because I do need a laptop, but I'm taking it to pay my credit cards. So I have to be disciplined, man. You know what I'm saying? Got to be disciplined. Got to put the money towards the oh whoa shop and pay 21 dollars 48 minutes let's go let's take that 14 items Ooh, did i get the let, let's take it man let's take it target let's take it let's take it did i get accepted for the roadie it's still pending but let's not waste any more time let's head straight to the target and let's get that done did i do a screenshot i don't know but let's pick up those items man if we get the roadie well, I don't know. We might be, I don't know. 48 minutes. Yeah, we might, we might be late to that. <laughs> oh man, it's pending. Hopefully we don't get it. I'm hoping I don't get it. It's three minutes since I put in the bed for it, but we got the shop and pay. Let's go in and pick up the items really quick, man. That's the only thing we could do. Pick up the items fast. It's going somewhere. I don't even know where it's going. I just took it. I just took it mad quick. <laughs> I don't even know where it's going, man. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that shop and pay $21 and not worry too much about the roadie gig. Can, can, can. Gotta make an executive decision here but i don't want to get accepted and then i drop it you see what i'm saying i don't want to do that that's not good that's not good as a newbie at all Yeah, I'm not going. 
garlic. But let's get the food we need. Uh, Rouse homemade tomato basil sauce. So guys, we got everything shopped for, picked up 21 items, everything found and substituted. And um, let's hope I don't forget anything this time. But it's now what, 152? We did good. Took us about 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes, not bad. So guys, everything shopped, paid for bag and it's not even 2 p.m yet so we did good we did good you know what i mean i'm proud of myself so this is gonna take 48 minutes i think it's gonna be just about that but we did not get the roadie gig which i'm happy i'm happy we didn't get it but it just shows that there are gigs available and you just have to submit gigs and put yourself in a position to get them simple so guys, while we were there, we did get a Grubhub, $7, two miles. It was pretty good, but we're caught up, man. We couldn't do it. Definitely couldn't do it. This one's paying $21. I had to call the customer to make sure they get their almond milk. And we got everything shopped for, picked up, and pretty sure we're gonna have a happy customer. You see what I mean? That, that's my goal. That is my goal. <laughs> So guys, we didn't actually put the cart back, so hopefully the cart knocks don't get me. Let's take a picture of this receipt really quick and then we'll be on our way. Guys, it's only a six minute drive. Wow, this is awesome. 1.6 miles, six minutes, it might take us less. I'm loving this, man. We still got a good little 45 minutes after that so that we could get nine bucks. Got a goal is only $30. I love to hit the goals, man. It's all about goals and achieving them. Let's get it. We got Uber Eats covered in clutch like Kareem Benzema. So guys, we went ahead and got those groceries dropped off. It's currently 2 or 9 and we have time for one more order. And we need about $8 and something. I can't remember how much this paid. Let's double check and I'll let you know. So guys, the original offer was for $21.05. We drove 2.1 miles and it took us 43 minutes and 28 seconds to get it done. 21 items. Lovely man, lovely shop and pay from Target. Let's get it. So we need a $10 offer to hit the goal, basically. No, not 10, nine. God damn, my math is totally off. $9, basically $8.95. Come on, Uber Eats, let's go. We only got about 30, 40 minutes to play with. Not much because I gotta get my son from the bus. As usual, guys, that's the routine on daddy duties, man. So guys, now is not really the time for any experimentation. So I won't be doing a point pickup, nor would I be doing a roadie right about now. It's only Grubhub, Uber Eats, or if we could get onto DoorDash. So $30, let's hit the goal, man. Let's use the gig apps at our advantage to pay off our debt. Because guys, I already went to my W2 this morning. I work from 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. and I have the rest of the day to do whatever the hell I like. So it's perfect for me if I wanna work the gig apps. I have a lot of time to just go and do my thing and make some extra money. But guys, it requires a lot of self-motivation, a lot of determination, a lot of discipline because you're your own boss. This is your own entity, basically. And uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, when you gotta get up to go to work in the morning, you really don't wanna move. You wanna hit the snooze button. You wanna take an extra 10, 20 minutes, 25 minutes with gig apps. It takes a lot to say, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna get this money every day that I could. Takes a lot. So all the hustlers out there, give yourself a round of applause, man. You deserve it, definitely. So guys, since we drop off that shop and pay, Uber Eats have not sent us back another offer. Nothing. And for Grubhub, it's completely dry. And let me see if I could get on DoorDash, man. Come on, DoorDash. Come on, man. Come on. It's still gray. Still gray. Damn. So guys, I'm seeing a lot of point pickup orders in Yonkers, the White Plains, New Jersey. I've only seen a single offer in like my area, and that was over in Westbury, I think. And that's a good little drive from here, about half an hour drive. So point pickup, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna get to do one, but 
it's not gonna be today at all. So guys, we're heading back towards the mall to see if we get something really good, $9. We'll take anything above $7 right now to see if we get closer to that $30 goal. I should have set that goal to $25. Cause I could have taken a little $4 order right about now and ding, 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 goal hit. But I want to be ambitious, you know what I'm saying? And aim for 30. Shame on me, man. Shame on me. But guys, a lot more people are signing up for these gig apps. Uber Eats, DoorDash, Grubhub, Instacart, Shipped, you name it. People are signing up. And before, I think gig work was kind of frowned upon by most people. They probably looking at you and say, hey man, go find a real job. But now more and more people are signing up because I'm telling you, things are rough. Things are definitely rough. So guys, we got something $8.02, 22 minutes it said it's gonna take us. Let's go ahead, man, 1.6 miles. I'm gonna make the turn right here because I'm pretty sure that's that right aid over there. And we're one minute away from the store. Awesome, man, awesome, yeah eight bucks this is gonna take us up to 29 dollars it said it's gonna take us 22 minutes estimated time we gotta pick up two items i'm hoping to get they have the items the right aid always be playing around with the items man so we're gonna head to the store and pick up a few things for sarah lee and drop him off and hopefully we have enough time to take like a little no tip mcdonald's offer that'll take us to 30 dollars <laughs> Preferably not though, preferably not, preferably not. But let's get it, man, let's get it. Shop and pay coming in clutch today. So guys, the time is now 2.20 and we don't want to play around. We want to get this done on the 10 minutes or even five minutes and get out of there. So guys, we're picking up some feminine products. I don't mind, I really don't mind. I have daughters. So guys, we got those feminine products picked up, but let's drop them off. Guys, the drop off is three minutes away and it's now 2.29. Let's drop this off and let's see if we get an offer going back to my house because I have to head that way like right now. I have time, I have time, but I don't want to rush today at all though. So three minutes for Sarah Lee and her products, a little personal. So we're going to get that to her, pretty sure. You know, um, she's looking looking for me to, to show up anytime soon. So guys, when I went into the Rite Aid, I asked the employee, where's the feminine products? And she said like, I won, but she said it really in a bad way. Like she was in a nasty way, but maybe it wasn't personal because I didn't really take it personal, but maybe she was having a bad day. And when I went to the section, I thought that I was okay and I could have found these, but I was looking for the smaller ones because it said 20 count and I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm like, where the hell are these things? Where the hell are these pads? So while looking, my head accidentally hit the help button. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. So she came, the same girl came and uh, she was giving me the attitude again. And I asked her, I said, hey man, what's up with the attitude? I'm only asking for some help because I really need the help right now. I can't find these things. So when she spoke, I heard the Guyanese accent and I was like, hey GT man, why you moving so man? Why you treating me like that? So as soon as she realized that I recognize the accent and where she's from, I think that kind of de-escalated the whole situation and she started being nice to me and I asked her where are these things and she's like still giving me the attitude. I'm like, come on, man, you gotta help me out here. I'm lost. I don't buy these things on a regular. I know I came off like I did, but I really don't. You see what I'm saying? One or two times, yeah, but I'm no expert. Guys, these little shifts that I do really, really come in handy because I get off of work. I have between one and three to do a little something. And it usually turned out to be maybe like an hour and a half if I'm lucky. And you combine two and you get three hours. You see what I'm saying? So with yesterday and today, I've already made about $55, man. So so you make money. It's really how you maximize your time and make money. So guys, you pull it up to the location she messaged me and said I should come through the driveway down to the basement so I'm gonna do that and let's get this dropped off so guys we got that order dropped off for Sarah Lee and I think I'm gonna call it um, for the shift 
So guys, that trip took us 17 minutes and 30 seconds, 1.4 miles. The original offer was $8.03. So we did good. We did really, really good, man. So $8.03 plus $21.05 gives us a grand total of $29.08. And I think that is close enough to the goal. I feel good. I feel accomplished. I feel like I'm going to pay off this debt like very fast. So guys, we're definitely going to go back out later to make some money. So I'll give you an update if we do. So guys, if you're broke or you think you're coming up short every month in terms of taking care of responsibilities, don't be ashamed to go out and sign up for one of these gig apps. There's many of them you could choose from, many that I listed in this video and even more. So go out there, sign up for as many as you want. Grubhub, Uber Eats, Dota, Ship, Instacart, Rody. Do what you gotta do, man. You know what I'm saying? Go and mow lawns, break leaves, shovel snow. Do what you gotta do. Pick up bottles. Do what you gotta do to get yourself out of debt or, you know, bad financial situations. Or even, you know, to put away for a rainy day, man. Don't be ashamed. Let's get rid of this thing where you feel like you're ashamed to go out there and deliver food. You think shame is going to pay your bills. You think it's going to pay your bills. You see what I mean? It's not. You're not ashamed to go out there and apply for a job. Yeah, maybe some jobs. But you're ashamed to deliver food or deliver packages. Come on, man. Get your act together. So, guys, I'm back for the late shift. I've been doing some Grubhub orders and I got one DoorDash. But then I passed by the Target at the Green Acres Mall. And Dota sent me a $34 banger. 33 items, but I got my wife with me. Her and my son went to pick up some food. So I'm going to get food when I'm done. But I'm going to head into the Target, shop for this, pay, and get it dropped off. It said it's going to take 43 minutes, so it's probably easy, right? So hopefully, let's get it done and let's make the money, baby. Damn. So guys, it's the following day, the Friday, the 31st of March. And I just want to go over the numbers for Thursday, the 30th of March. So we worked about four to five hours for the, the day. We worked about one and a half hours earlier. And then later, I picked up my wife from work. I had my little son with me and we went out delivering some food. It's always nice to have company, by the way. So we did get some action on Grubhub. We made $22.58. On Uber Eats, we only made $29.08 from the first short shift in the afternoon. So we did not go back on Uber Eats. I just chose not to because Grubhub was doing a thing. I had um, DoDash on and I was getting some offers on DoDash as well. So we didn't go back on Uber Eats. On DoDash, we made $40.39. And that included the last order of the day which was like a $34 banger, I have to say, a shop and pay. It was about 33 items, and it was like the most items I ever shopped for, but I really did enjoy the challenge, man. Just going around in Target, picking up these groceries for the customer, it, it felt good. And the customer was in communication with me as well to substitute a few items, and I'm really starting to like shop and pay. That's why I want to get on Instacart, but I'm on the wait list though, so... We're going to see how that goes. So 40, 39 on DoDash. We didn't make anything on Rody, and we didn't make anything on Point Pickup. I did sign up for Point Pickup yesterday as well, but I saw some offers. I was kind of scared to accept the offer that I saw. It said oversized, required an SUV, but because I had my son and wife with me, I was like, do I need to fold down a couple seats? So I was like, nah, I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to wait until I have like a full day to run that experiment. So guys, I just did some quick math in my head because I actually forgot to do the calculation. But we made 92.05 according to the calculator up here. And that's not bad for the day at all because we only made $29 earlier. And uh, we did pretty good at the back end right there, man. We made about 60 bucks in that little short shift with my wife in the car. I, I love it, man. I love having a company. Love having her to talk to and stuff like that. But she don't really be listening to me. She said I talk too much sometimes. But it is what it is, man. You know? I say, if I don't talk to you, who am I going to talk to? But it's a good thing I have you guys, right? So guys, after those numbers, these are the totals for the week so far. Grubhub, $40.93. Uber Eats, $170.95. DoDash, $87.39. And on Rody, we made $22.12. Nothing on point pickup as well. To take the grand total for the week, 
to $321.39, which means we only need $178.61 to hit the goal of $500. Lovely. So there's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to deliver. I think I'm gonna take a break this Friday because my wife goes to a second job and I'm only gonna have like an hour and a half to deliver anyways. I did have a Doda shift. I was thinking about doing something, but I'm gonna put it off for Saturday. So Saturday and Sunday, we're gonna make that 178 and hit the $500 goal. And at the end of the week, throw that $400 right at those credit cards. So guys, it's your boy Dom. Thanks for tuning in to yet another one. Subscribe if you're new, like the video if you haven't yet done so. And don't forget, if you have debt, tackle it head on. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Peace out. God bless.